All right, so we got a new snapshot for Minecraft 1.16, and I'll have a more thorough video done on it tomorrow. But for now, I want to focus on one feature in particular, highly requested, and rightfully so, which is that now you can make a beacon base out of netherite blocks, because obviously, why wouldn't you? It's the most valuable thing in the game now, more or less. And alongside this line in the update notes where it says you can do this, it says weird flex, but okay. And obviously, me being one to flex and turn my shirt into ash, I figured I have to be the one to investigate how big of a flex is this actually if you go maximum beacon size? So let's do a little bit of math here, because that's why you come to these videos for me to do math. So, one gold ore goes to one gold ingot. That's pretty basic, you know that. But one ancient debris, which again is found randomly dispersed throughout the nether when you strip mine, goes to one nether scrap. Now, in order to make one netherite ingot, we need four gold ingots and four netherite scraps, which means four of each of those blocks. In order to go from there to a netherite block, which all of these are on because creative mode is the ultimate flex, we need nine of these. So nine times this recipe over here. So nine times four for each of these. What does that look like? Well, it looks like this. All of this, the gold, mm, kind of doable. It'll take a little bit of time, but not too bad. All of us are familiar with gold ore clusters in the overworld, you can find them. The ancient debris, however, this is going to be kind of tedious because they tend to be found on their own as an individual block scattered throughout the nether. And they're not terribly easy to find. I mean, you can bed mine for them, but then you have to keep making new beds, worry about the blast damage you might be taking. And all of that goes to one singular netherite block. Fortunately, this is all you need currently in order to get a full set of netherite tools. So, not too bad. I don't know if that'll change in the future, depending upon how attainable it is. But, you know, that's a decent amount of work for this single corner right here. That's all you get. Now, how many blocks go into a full-size beacon? It's uh, 164. I've got my notes, because there's big numbers that we're going to be getting into here. So, it's 164 blocks of any kind of iron, gold, emerald, diamond, etc. that go into a maximum size beacon. Here's where we get to the, the big stuff. So, 164 times this right here. So that's 36 times 164 for each gold and ancient debris, not just, not just one overall number. So what does that look like and how much is that? So 164 times 36 is 5,904. Now, if we laid that out in a straight line, it would take a very long time for us to cover that distance, so I've decided to put it in a more compact cube form, and that's what it looks like. So we have uh, the cube root of 5,904 is 18.07, so we have an 18 by 18 by 18 cube here for both gold and the ancient debris, plus an extra 72 out front here remaining. That's how much you need of each in order to get the maximum sized beacon. Truly the ultimate flex. Now how time consuming is this actually? And here's where I kind of have to just guess and throw out some numbers. So based on my seeing how difficult it is to find ancient debris in the nether, Purely the ancient debris alone, I'm guessing that when you incorporate the time that's going to be needed to eventually repair stuff that you're using to mine, make new beds, etc., whatever technique that you're using, maybe you're going to find one piece every two minutes. Which means 5,904 times 2 is 11,808 minutes invested, if all goes well, in getting this. And you hopefully don't alive and eat a whole bunch more time away. That is 197 hours, approximately, of game time in order to do this. Or, hopefully you get a server of people together who can all, 197 of them, put an hour in and then make that more doable. The gold, on the other hand, still quite a bit of work to get this much, but probably a bit easier than all that ancient debris. I can't even imagine how much area of the nether bled completely dry of ancient debris this would take to get this much. Like, how much nether area generates this much ancient debris if you got every single bit in every chunk? That's what I want to know. Anyway, this is truly Minecraft's new ultimate flex. 
to think that all of that consolidates into just this right here. My emerald beacons pale in comparison. They have nothing on this. And the first person who's able to, to truly complete this solo in a single-player world, no cheats, all survival, you're a god. What can I say? Or you just have a lot of free time. That's also possible. But that's it! Breaking down Minecraft's new Ultimate Flex, the uh, max size <laughs> netherite block beacon. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, like I said, a uh, more thorough video out on the snapshot for tomorrow. And if it's already the future, I'll leave that link in the description so you can jump right into it if you want. And thanks for watching! Make sure to like for the Ultimate Flex and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft stuff in the future and the next snapshot videos and things like that. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hey.